Hey guys, Jono here from Ecom SEO. This video today uh, comes about because of a question in our Facebook group uh, about embedding videos on Shopify. Now, as we know, Shopify is not, not the fastest platform around and it does have some issues with speed. And sometimes when you add, embed a video from YouTube or Vimeo onto a blog post or in a collection page or even a product page, it does significantly slow down page load speed and it can cause issues. So I've done a little bit of research and come up with a bit of a solution that seems to work pretty well. Um, so this is just a, a test blog post on Shopify and we've just got a YouTube video that's been embedded here. And when we run the, just a standard embed, so the embed code you get from YouTube, um, when we ran that through GT Metrics. Um, the page load time, 14.2 seconds on GT Metrics, and then on Pingdom, same page, page load time at 2.8 seconds. And if we look at our waterfall in GT Metrics, we can see that the YouTube embed uh, was 13.7 seconds of the actual page load speed. Now, now here's um, the same page with, it's actually the same video that's been added. Uh, we've just added a custom thumbnail. So this is just a sample custom thumbnail. But if we click on this, it actually loads the same video. Um, and then the user can click on it and the video plays as per normal. So then if we go and look at the actual page load speed with this method of embedding the video, 3.5 seconds, so down from 14 seconds and there's no, if we look at our waterfall, there's no significant um, roadblock from the actual YouTube embed. Then if we go and look at Pingdom, always like to use Pingdom in conjunction with GT Metrics just to get a comparison. Um, we're seeing it's now loading under one second. So the same video is embedded on the page, um, but it's actually loading the page much, much, much quicker. So how do we do this? Well. I basically just did a bit of research and found that there was a method to use um, a, a different iframe to actually embed the videos. So essentially you have the thumbnail image as a essentially a placeholder and then the video doesn't load until someone clicks on that placeholder image. And it's using a bit of um, iframe code called SR doc. Now I'm not a coder, I don't understand it um, deeply. Uh, but reading through the, the process where we found this, it's actually uh, makes a lot of sense. So I'm not, we're not certainly not claiming we, we created this. It's just a little bit of research. So the difference is you need to, you just need to swap out um, your embed ID, which you can find in YouTube, and then um, another a second embed ID, the same ID you, f you find in YouTube, and then you just need to um, to add your thumbnail image from somewhere. So this thumbnail image is just thumbnail image it's actually already in our Shopify store and and then add in also your title down here so you just may need to make a few little changes and then that gives you that option um, to have that so we'll just load this up again so the only the only drawback which I don't see as a drawback because pe if people are going to watch a video they're going to click on it so they click on it and then uh, they need to click it twice and then the video plays uh, but you know we can see in our data that the the, the reduction in page load, um, page load speed is quite significant and for both um, GT Metrics and tools.pingdom. Okay, um, code will be in the description below uh, and yeah, hope that is a little bit of a help for people who are adding YouTube videos to their Shopify stores. We recommend it. Um, we also add schema to our YouTube videos in our Shopify store to to really uh, tie the, the entity and the um, the relevance of a page together for Google uh, and now this just helps you know, making sure our page load speed is still where it needs to be. Okay, thanks. See you next video.